एज अ बेसिस ऑफ क्रिस्टोफेल थेरी वी नो दैट मेटल आयन एंड लिगैंड देर इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स ऑफ एट्रैक्शन आउटर मोस्ट डी ऑर्बिटल्स ऑफ द मेटल आयन एक्सपीरियंसेस रिपल्शन ड्यू टू लिगैंड फील्ड फॉर द सेक ऑफ ब्रेविटी सी एफ टी अजूम स्पेरिकली सिमेट्रिकल फील्ड सो दैट एनर्जेटिक्स विल बी क्लियर टू अस बट इन स्पेरिकली सिमेट्रिकल हाइपोथेटिकल फील्ड डी जनरस इज मेंटेन जो सेम केस विल बी देर एज इज ऑफ द फ्री मेटल एंड ओनली थिंग द ऑर्बिटल्स विल बी ऑफ हाइयर एनर्जी but that is not the reality considering geometrical aspect whether is octahedral or tetrahedral or square planar different splittings we have studied what's the importance of that splitting we distributed electrons in those splitted orbitals we consider two different cases high spin case low spin case weak field complexes strong field complexes what is the purpose behind that what is the output of that that we are going to study in this point because of crystal field splitting because of distribution of electron because of calculation of crystal field stabilization energy we could describe many physical phenomena related to those metal ions and related complexes in order to have a grip let us talk about octahedral complexes and the properties like ionic radii can be explained now question you will be with how it can be explained see in general sense in a periodic table as we move from left to right atomic or ionic radius decreases and that was expected why for because electrons are held in the same orbital while nuclear charge is increasing atomic number is increasing number of protons are increasing because of shrinking of the ion we expect decrease in size we expect smooth decrease was expected but reality is different and that we can answer by means of the splitting and electronic distribution means exactly what happens those 5d orbitals are split in two parts one t2g and eg t2g is a lower level orbital so it is near to the nucleus now so if any electron enters in t2g it will be the near to the nucleus so size will increase or decrease certainly it will decrease and if electron enters in the eg orbital relative to spherical hypothetical field electron is going further away so because of that size will increase and in true sense ligands are approaching along axis so if an electron enters in the eg orbital then that electron will come in between ligand and metal ion because of that metal ion can't exert that much attraction ligand coming closer ligand will go away because of the repulsion exhibited by this electron and due to which the size of the metal ion will increase means true size in the complex depends upon surrounding depends upon ligands depends upon interaction depends upon electronic configuration how electronic configuration affects the sizes that we are going to study here ligand will keep same many times a co or water forms a complex hydration also we can study so during hydration energy releases so energy released that's a hydration energy how much hydration energy can be released like that we can predict on the basis of the crystal field theory cfc calculation we did so how is the variation of the ionic radii with change in the electronic distribution with entry of electron in t2g or the eg orbital that we are going to study in this part by the way if we consider the aco complex if we consider hydrated metal ion means metal ion as it enters in the water water molecules will surround and one interaction between them will be there energy will be released and one mole of metal ion how much energy releases that energy is called hydration energy that calculation we can do on the basis of cfse cfc calculation we already did so for high spin complexes how the variation of hydration energy is possible that we can study plus further physical properties are there those we can describe on the basis of electron distribution if splitting is clear to you if electron distribution is clear to you if the role of orbital is clear to you position of orbital is clear to you you will understand this part of application of crystal field theory let us work for one of the physical property let us understand what hydration energy actually mean when metal ion is a positively charged we put in the water water molecules approaches the metal ion pointing its negative pole what is the negative pole of the water oxygen pole and that oxygen pole has lone pair can form the coordinate bond or coordinate compound will be the result and octahedral complexes are generally produced during the solvation or we can say hydration so reaction is mentioned there 
M2 plus in a gaseous state when combines with water to produce MH2 O6 2 plus that's our octahedral complex during that bonding develops as bonding attraction develops energy releases energy released during this process of water surrounding during the process of formation of aqua complex is none other than hydration energy but in order to quantitatively represent it we consider formation of one mole of the complex or what I can say the amount of energy released when a mole of iron dissolves in large amount of water forming very very dilute solution. Why dilute solution? We don't want any other interaction in order to measure hydration properly. Let us see how knowledge of crystal field theory, splitting parameter, electron distribution can help us to find hydration energy or to predict hydration energy or to describe hydration energy. Energy always will be negative means there will be the release of energy. There will be decrease in energy. So negative sign is only for the sake of understanding purpose. Means increase in hydration energy means more negative. Mathematically it is not true. So while drawing the graph y axis if you observe surprisingly minus 2.5 is there down and upside minus 3.0 means what are we considering minus sign a bit natural only magnitude or numbers for which we are comparing so conventional dialogues we will put out increase in hydration energy means it will be the more negative so let us start now by green color by green line Calcium plus 2, manganese plus 2, Zn plus 2, their hydration energies are represented. It was our expected line actually. Because as we move from calcium plus 2 to Zn plus 2, D0 to D10 system, it was expected that with increase in the electron or as usual as size of the cation decreases, power of the cation to attract the water molecule will increase and hydration energy accordingly will increase. So from calcium plus 2 to Zn plus 2 via Mn plus 2 we were expecting steady increase as was shown by the green color. But reality was different. Reality is shown by the red curves. And that reality can be explained by the crystal field theory and its application by the knowledge of electronic distribution. For calcium plus 2 D0 system is our reference point. Afterwards as I discussed before in the last video scandium plus 2 is not going to stabilize and therefore is not represented directly titanium plus 2 is represented what is the electronic configuration of titanium plus 2 it's a d2 so those two electrons will enter in which orbital t2g orbital and because of entry of those two electrons t2g orbital how much stability will be governed minus 0.8 dq do you remember cfsc calculation compared to d0 that's a zero cfsc for titanium plus 2 D2 system CFSC is minus 0.8 delta O compared to calcium D0 that's a 0 CFSC it is an increase in stability therefore increase in the hydration energy increase in the formation of the aqua complex is observed for titanium plus 2 let us proceed further vanadium plus 2 D3 system third electron also entered in the T2 orbital now stability is or CFSC is minus 1.2 delta O compared to titanium plus 2. Vanadium plus 2 is more stable. More stable, more energy will be released. So hydration will be more. So vanadium plus 2 is showing a peak. Vanadium plus 2 is showing the highest hydration energy in the first half transition series elements. After vanadium plus 2, chromium plus 2, high spin complexes we are discussing. So fourth electron where will it enter it will go in the eg orbital because of entry of electron eg orbital cfsc will increase or decrease it will decrease see while saying increase and decrease i am not considering the sign i am considering only the numbers previously 1.2 delta was there now number is 0.6 delta o in cfsc is minus 0.6 delta o for chromium plus 2 CFSC decrease, stability decrease, so energy release will decrease, hydration energy will decrease compared to vanadium plus 2. 
after chromium plus 2 next manganese plus 2 d5 system it, its cfs is equal to 0 as was the case for calcium plus 2 d0 now manganese plus 2 cfs is 0 and where cfs is 0 where crystal bead effect is not there there we are finding usual behavior and where there is a crystal bead effect we are finding different behavior but different also we could able to explain that's the beauty of crystal field theory and its application so manganese plus 2 is on the green line after manganese plus 2, second half of the transition series starts. And the first ion is Fp plus 2, D6 system, electron enters in T2 orbital. Enter electron T2 orbital, will stabilize the system or not? Yes, will stabilize. CFSC is minus 0.4 delta O. Therefore, because of stability, energy will release. Hydration will be more. So, compared to Mn plus 2, Fp plus 2, hydration energy is larger. Afterwards, Cobalt plus 2, D7 system, enter electron T2 orbital, CFS is minus 0.8 delta O, increase in CFS E, increase in stability, increase in hydration energy, therefore hydration energy for CO plus 2, you are finding elevated, is larger. Then Ni plus 2, D8 system, enter electron in T2 orbital, CFS is minus 1.2 delta O, compared to Cobalt plus 2, it is stable. Because of that more energy will release, more hydration energy. So it is a point in second half where hydration energy is larger. That's a D8 electronic configuration. Then copper plus 2 could able to find the copper plus 2. That's a D9 system could able to form the aqua complex octahedral. But the John Taylor distortion shows a very different view. So time being that is shown by the hollow circle. We are not going to talk about it now. Join plus 2, D10 system, CFS is 0, crystal free effect is not there, splitting effect is not there and because of that as was expected, Join plus 2 is on the green line. It's a variation of hydration energy for diapositive. Similarly, tripositive also we could explain. Purpose is to understand the importance of splitting and electronic distribution. Is it clear to you? As a homework question to you, with entry of electron AG orbital, with respect to the previous element, hydration energy will increase or decrease? Only right answer, increases or decreases in the comment box. Mm -hmm.